is what he said. Verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, that's what you hope for, hope, desire, same thing. When ye pray, evidence of things not seen, something not seen, it's gotta happen. Whether it's a microsecond happening or however long it takes to happen. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them. Hear that? When you pray, you gotta say you're gonna receive them. You believe that you're gonna receive them, you say what's gonna happen. And you shall have, you shall have them. See that? You pray, you desire to have something to happen, then you say it's gonna happen. You're gonna have it. But it's a condition. And when you stand praying, forgive. That's a condition. You gotta forgive. Can't be sitting around no grudges, no holding no hard feelings against people. You want something to happen great for you? This this solution right here. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have art, that's a problem against any. That your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses, your sins. But this condition, if there's another condition, ye do not forgive. You sitting there praying, you got this grudge and this hatred against your brother or sister, whoever. But if you do not forgive, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. You see that? You ain't gonna be forgiven, so therefore it don't work for you. It don't work for people that got grudges and got the evil heart evil minds and, and hating on their brothers and sisters. You a murderer anyway, he called you. He called you a murderer if you hate your brother. Think about that. It's like you straight up murder someone to hate your brother. That's how serious this is. <laughs> Going back to Deuteronomy 32. Verse 20 said, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. But they are a very forward generation children in whom is no faith. You hear what the Mashiach was saying? told us have faith in the Most High. We just went through all that. Hmm. So they have moved me as jealousy with that which is not the Most High. These religions. And your poach up even preachers that you believe in and regurgitate what he's saying. You better regurgitate what this word is saying with understanding. Hmm. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, hear that? That's why I tell you in Ecclesiastes 3.24, for many are deceived, lied to by their own vain opinion. And an evil suspicion, that's the devil, have, have come in and overthrown, make them make the wrong judgment, overthrown their judgment. A lot of devil come in and make you make the wrong judgment. The way you think. Man, y'all better understand, man, this is serious. We're in the last days. That's why he say they have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. They have provoked me with anger with their vanities, man, the way you think. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. You hear that? He said going to move us to jealousy with those that are not a people in the eyes of the most high. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Here it is, man. We in it right now. A foolish nation, he said, he's going to provoke us to anger. Look at the things happening to us, man, in this with this foolish nation. But we are a people. Understand, understand this. He tell us that in Proverbs, excuse me, not Proverbs, but Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn. And this proved who the saints are. He also exalted the horn, the power of his people. The praise of all his saints. Who are the saints? Even of the children of Israel. Who are we? The children of Israel, who are we? A people. See, we are people to the Most High. Everybody ain't a people to the Most High. He just ain't going to provoke us to a no, no people, to a foolish nation. Here we are. But we are people near unto the Most High, near to Him. Praise you, the Most High. You see? All praise to the Most High. Let's look at um, Psalm 75, Psalm, the 75th chapter. In verse 5. Y'all alright? I hope so. I hope this goes in. And filters into your spirit. It says, lift not up your horn, your power on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. You see? He say, lift not up your horn, your power on high, man. Speak not with a stiff neck. You know, it's what we've done over and over again. 
we spoke with a stiff neck, you know, and pride. Say for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. You know? Most high is the judge. Say so he put down one and set it up another. But in the Most High's hand, in the hand of the Most High, there was a cup. So he got a cup. And the wine is red. You know? Most High got a cup of wine and it's red. It is full of mixture. And he poured, uh-oh, 